Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, you're not only going to learn how to draft this block, but you're going to learn my thought processes as I went from a single mitten uh, to creating a more interesting block, all using Electric Quilt. On the home screen, select New Project, and I'm going to call this Mitten Mitten. Who's got the mitten? and select OK. Select Design a Block from Scratch and we're going to start with a basic mitten. And so go to the Draw tab and set the block width at 4 and the height at 6. And let's snap every half inch so we'll do 8 horizontal and 12 vertical. For snapping options just have Snap to Grid on. Start by drawing a line at a horizontal line at 5 inches and then draw a vertical line at 3 inches. Then put 1 inch triangles in the left and right upper corners of the larger rectangle. Then draw a horizontal line at 2.5 inches and draw two 45 degree lines right underneath that. And go to the Color tab and color this. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now my original plan was just to have a basic mitten and put it in a um, horizontal layout, but I decided that would get a little boring. So I decided to try to play with some different options, but I couldn't just go to serendipity because of the size of my block. So to play, I decided to work in the quilt work table, and I selected, so I selected the quilt work table, did a new quilt, and did a custom set and I'll just change the layout to 12 by 12. I don't know what I'm going to need, but that will give me some space to work with. Then go to the Design tab and do Set Block and drag the mitten on the quilt. And I'm going to uh, set my grid snap increments to 2 inches and I want to make sure that Snap Block Position to Grid is turned on. And so I'm going to move that in the upper left corner. Then I'll do a copy, paste, and under block rotation I will put in 90 degrees. Now I can't use the rotate up at, on the top because my block is not square. So I'll put that just to the right of the uh, first mitten. Do another copy, paste, and I will change the block rotation to 180 and then I can do another copy paste and change the block rotation to minus 90. This seems like much more interesting of a block, so go to Fabric Tools and Color. Now let's resolve the hole in the center. Under Block Tools, go to Set Block and click on the three dots and select Add Plain Block. Then drag the plain block on the quilt. And now with the Adjust tool, I'm going to make sure I have Snap Block Size to Grid on. And I can bring that down to 2 inches and put that in the center. Now I can use the ruler to measure the size. And note that it's 10 inches horizontally and vertically. So go to Layout and make sure maintain the existing block sizes is turned on and change the width and the height to 10. Then go to the border tab and let's delete this border. Now let's redraft this as a single block. So then go back to the block work table and do a new block, Easy Draw, and select a block width and height of 10 inches. Remember that was the size of our quilt. Then for our snaps, let's snap every half inch, so select 20 by 20. Snapping option should be just snap to grid. So we're going to just start by um, drawing that first mitten, and it will be exactly the way we did before. So we will uh, make that 4 by 6 inches, so let me mark those lines 
and then we'll draw the band at the bottom. Uh, we'll draw uh, one inch triangles that can be done as folded corners. Draw the thumb at two and a half inches with uh, two half inch folded corners. And once we have that done, we can use the pick tool and drag a box to select it all. Then under advanced symmetry, select clone rotate 90. And move that uh, to the upper right corner. Do another clone rotate 90. Move that to the lower right corner and then a clone rotate 90 and move that to the lower left corner. Now because we're only using snap to grid, even though we've got some overlap in lines, it shouldn't create a problem. But the way to double check that is to go to the color tab. And everything looks great, so then you can go ahead and color, color this. And then select Add to Project Sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.